Yo, 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 what is up, guys? This is Austin from Crossfade Gaming, and I am back. I know I haven't really gotten around to getting a video up lately. Uh, that's because I've been working, and it's been hard to try and make a video with the three or four hours I'm actually awake here before I go to bed. But, um, yeah, we got 1.09 update for Gran Turismo 6. And uh, here, let's uh, go ahead and get right into what it adds. Um, Alright, so we got the Red Bull Ring. So, if I go to Garage and Test Drive, I'm sure it'll come up in World Circuits. Yeah, you got the Red Bull Ring Short Track, Weather Variable, and the Red Bull Ring Weather Variable. Uh, we also have the Vision GTI which is the Volkswagen Vision car which is right here whenever the game loads there we go Now, I am a Volkswagen fan myself, and I've been looking for the, this car to come to this game for countless months. <laughs> uh, we got Gran Turismo Red, Habanero Orange, Lapis Blue, Reflex Silver, and Oryx White. Now, in my opinion, the, the blue looks pretty badass. Which, with the Volkswagen Vision GTI, also came a new seasonal event, most likely. And that is a time trial, Volkswagen GTI Roadster Vision GT Superlap on Circuit Circuito de Madrid. And you get the car just for participating. And if you get bronze, you get the special outfit, Volkswagen Vision GT. Which is another new thing. I think you can buy it as well. If you go over to Racing Gear and Special Outfit. The Volkswagen Vision GT. Now it's $50,000, which wouldn't really be a problem for me. But uh, I'm just going to go do the seasonal event like I do everything like I got gold so far and everything every seasonal every race whatever no no bragging I'm just saying that's what I did but I'll get that suit by doing that uh, there's also new cars in the dealerships obviously it says new now the Nissan one is the R35 GTR GT3 thing or whatever now I already have it because if you get gold on the GT Academy 2014 round 4 which is the final round which you can't do anymore it ended on this past Monday uh, you can get that car for free 
But yeah, they added the Nissan GTR, Nismo GT3, Nissan GT Academy Team RJN 2013. Uh, there's also a new Lexus, which I was looking at this thing before on GT Planet and it looks pretty badass. The ISF Lexus ISF CCSR 2011 thing looks boss. Like, I'm gonna love driving that car. I'm just gonna keep it how it is, probably. Unless you could change color of it, that'd be cool, but I like the orange. Um, and there's also a, no a new Toyota. Yeah, a new. And you fucking speak a different language or something here. Uh, this thing is pretty fucking serious, it looks like. A Toyota TS030 Hybrid 2012. Doesn't say the horsepower or the torque, but we know it has a 3,400 cc displacement. And I'm pretty sure it's going to have 900 to 1,000 horsepower. Like all the LMPs kind of do. They're in the higher horsepower range. Uh, those are some of the cars. They also did a few adjustments to the physics simulation model, apparently. Uh, the dynamics of the car on surfaces with cornerstones and bumps have been improved. The effect of the tire geometry has been changed, mainly for the camber angle option. Which, yeah, that was another issue. But, um, yeah, it's, it's whatever. Um, and the handling of some rear heavy cars have been improved. Uh, other car adjustments on the various Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution X models it is now possible to enable the active steering under the driving options of the quick menu so with the Lancer Evo X the quick menu driving options you can now enable active steering not quite sure what the whole thing with that is uh, but there's also some other offline improvements and adjustments. Uh, the data logger can now be opened from the quick menu of time trial events. Uh, please note that only limited features will be available in this way. Please refer to the online manual for more details. And a reset to default option that returns the car to its showroom condition has been added under car settings. Yeah, that's another thing real quick. We've all had our pain in the ass issues with trying to figure out what the default gearings were but now we can reset it to default beautiful because that was a pain in the balls you know not having that um, and signal starts are now enabled on tracks with signals and other online improvements and adjustments a countdown is now displayed on the bottom right part of the open lobby screen showing the time before an event starts and the time when the track loading ends. The uploading time for both drift trials and time trials section have been changed. Um, but yeah, if you go on GT Planet, the, the guys are geniuses there and they find all kinds of undocumented changes. I know I confirmed one for him last week, or not last week, last update. Uh, you can actually paint the Mitsubishi Vision GT cars, and I'm pretty sure there's a few others that you can also paint. Um, I was also reading on GT Planet a little bit earlier as I was downloading and installing the update for this uh, about all the Vision Gran Turismo cars are going to be, like, you can paint them, except for the BMW. So, I'm pretty sure, like, I already have, you know, all of the current ones, like, all of them up to date, except for the Volkswagen, obviously. But I'm gonna get that bitch. <laughs> but yeah, right here, I painted it in a black that you can't originally have it in I guess I'm not too sure I just thought it looked cool with the black but uh, there's proof that you can actually paint them but uh, yeah that is pretty much all 1.09 ads so until next time guys peace